Hello, my name is Jacob. I'm a Holocaust survivor and a passenger of the SS Exodus. This is my story. The war was over, but the fight of immigration had just begun. My family had been split up during the Holocaust, and as a result, they all ended up dead. As the only family member left, I decided that I needed to make my way to the Promised Land, Palestine. I had heard of an underground group called Hamasad La Ali Abed, who were smuggling Holocaust survivors into Palestine. I figured it was my best shot, so I asked around, and before I knew it, I was boarding the SS Exodus. It was a risky move, but I figured we would be able to make it because of the publicity around the world. We had all been through so much. All of the people on board, including me, had been weakened, both mentally and physically. I think knowing that a journey would soon be over gave each of us some strength to get through the rest of the trip. It was like a sardine can, all 4,500 of us tightly packed aboard this old ship. The conditions weren't great, but they were better than the ones that we had once known at the concentration camps. We departed from the port of Cité, France on July 11th and headed towards Palestine. The voyage was long, but it would all be worth it. The British Navy had been following us. We thought that we had finally made it. You could smell the air of the land that we had only been told of. But our efforts were in vain, for we never got to disembark. We were only 20 miles, just 20 miles, when the British seized the ship. We had set up barricades and barbed wire in case something like this would happen but they penetrated our forces and the ship was overtaken. Our ship was taken to the south of France. To all of us, the world had ended. I wanted to die at this time. My dream had been shown before me and then soon after was taken away. I was put into another camp called Amstu, where we were detained without a trial. We had come so far, and yet we were back where we had started, back into another camp.